We glorify you, saints, the Otokos. You have born for us to save the whole world. You came and saved our souls. Glory to our Master, our King, Christ, the Father, the Apostles, the Son, the Martyrs, joy, the righteous, confirmation of the Church's forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity in one God, and we worship Him. We glorify Him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Truly, we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us, men, and for our salvation, came down from heaven, was incarnate with the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered, and was buried. On the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father. He is coming again in his glory, judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father, the Son, is worshiped and glorified who spoke by the prophets, one holy Catholic apostolic church. We confess on baptism and remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead, life days to come. Amen. on us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator, O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, God of hosts, be with us, for we have no help in our hardships and tribulations, but you absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgressions, those which we have committed willingly, and those which we have committed, un those which we have committed knowingly, and those which we have committed unknowingly, 
the hidden and the manifest, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, not according to our and sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as those trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine kingdom. Glory and honor, honor and glory to thee, O Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification to the one only Holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly For this song is precious gift, our sacrifice and those who bring them, Lord have mercy. Alleluia, fai bebi, eho ueta, eb choi se same. O Master, Lord, God, the Bandokrator, Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything, concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, 
and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept us of vacation and prayers of his sins, for that which is good in our behalf at all times, and make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and the blessed mystery, for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace. With your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people, from this altar and from this church, and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, men, agentivontiers, and pepiga, Deacons, the clergy, and all the people, my weakness be absolved from the mouth of the all holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and from the mouth of the twelve apostles, and from the mouth of the beholder of God, the avenger, Saint Mark, the holy apostle, and the martyr, the patriarchs and severe our teacher, Discourse, and Athanasius, the apostolic Saint Peter, the holy martyr and high priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, and Saint Gregory, and from the mouth of the 318 assembly, and I say the 150 corners of Naples and the 200 Ephesus. And from the mouth of our honored father, the high priest, Pope Abba Taudros II, and his partner in Dirichaj, our honored father, the Metropolitan and the Seraphian, and from my own mouth, being the least, for blessed and full of glory is your holy name, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and now and all times and ages of all ages. Amen.
second epistle of our teacher St. Paul to Thessalonians. May holy blessings be upon us all. Amen. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, 
for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know that it is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all powers, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion, that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned, who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth, to which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation, comfort, and good hope by grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work, every good word and work. The grace of God the Father be with you. Reading from the second epistle of Father St. Peter, may the Lord bless us all. Amen. Beloved, I now write to you the second epistle, and both of which I stir up your pure minds by way of reminder, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of command, the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their, their own lusts, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willfully forget, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, by which the world that then existed perished be being flooded with water. But the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved by the same word and reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat, both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in a holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening and coming of the day of, the God, of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for the new heavens and the new earth in which righteousness dwells, Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, without spot and blameless, and consider that the long-suffering of our Lord is salvation, as, our, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the, to the wisdom given to him, has written to you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. You therefore, beloved, since you know the, this beforehand, be aware, lest you also fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked, but grow in the grace 
and knowledge of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. Do not love the world, nor the things of the world. The world shall pass away in all its desires. But who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen. <laughs> of our Father, the pure apostles who are invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words. For these are not drunk, as you suppose, since it's only the third hour of the day. But this is what is spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in these last days, says God, that I, will pour, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my, and, and on my men servants and on, on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in these days, and these shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven ab above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the, the Lord shall grow, multiply, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. of the blessed month of Mesa, <clears throat> may God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and our iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, my fathers and my brethren, amen. On this day of the year 430 BC, the great prophet Malachi departed 
He was one of the 12 minor prophets and the last prophet of the Old Testament. He prophesied post exilic during the absence of Nehemiah at Shushan about the year 432 BC and after the building of the temple. He exposed in his prophecy the corruptive state of the priest and the people. He also made it clear that God strongly hates divorce. He admonished the rich for their hardness toward the poor. He warned about the coming of the heavenly plagues upon the impious and prophesied about the abolishing of the Old Testament sacrifice and the establishment of the New Testament sacrifice. He also prophesied about the divine incarnation by saying, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. When he completed his good endeavor, departed in peace, may the blessing of Malachi the prophet and may the prayers of all the saints be with us all. Glory be to our God forever. Amen. <laughs> The Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the sentence, holy honor, apostles, many prophets, and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, to hear the things which you and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear. May we be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, So our master, those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God, those who have already fallen asleep, repose them, those who are sick, heal them, for you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Stand in the fear of God, let us listen to the Holy Gospel, a passage from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. May his blessings be with us all, amen, ben choice, ho ben noti, ho ben sotir. 
From the Psalms of David, the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all, amen. Your years are through all generations. In the beginning, thou, O Lord, did lay the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain. Eh, 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 eh. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God and Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, unto whom is glory forever and ever. Amen. Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming, and of the end of the age? Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, and they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. You will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Because lawlessness, lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, Whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. Let him who is in the field not go back and get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in the winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world unto this time, no nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand, therefore, if they say to you, look, he is in the desert, do not go out. Or look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east, and flashes to the west. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be, for wherever the carcass is, there the eagles will be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. 
Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. He will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. They will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn this parable from the fig tree when its branch has already become tender puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generations will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. It's that time of year when we prepare for Nehruz. And just like we read last week, so also today's gospel is the same, but from St. Matthew. The Buddha just told me this morning to give the sermon. So before the baptism, I just had a few minutes to read all the readings of today starting from matins, even until now. Some people, they try to make the liturgy for the gospel, so that they can at least hear the gospel. But of course it's better to come from the very beginning, because there's scripture throughout the morning, starting with matins. And so the message that I got from this morning's Matins Gospel is to pray. And if you read it, one of the very clear messages of the reading is prayer. And someone just asked me last night, Abuna, sometimes I don't have time to pray. And my conscience bothers me. So I pray while I'm in the car or I pray while I'm cooking something, but I don't give enough time to pray and do nothing else. But prayer is a relationship between us and God. Someone can pray even while being silent, but being in the presence of God. There's a book called Beginning to Pray. It's by an Eastern Orthodox Metropolitan. And before he became Orthodox, he was Protestant. But he used to like art. And so where he works, there was a Russian Orthodox church. And he was always attracted to the church because of its beauty, for the artwork. And whenever he would go to church, he found this one old man who always was there. Sometimes he'd be sitting in a pew. He looked like he was reading something. Sometimes he was by an icon, speaking, he thought, speaking to the icon. Sometimes he was just there. It didn't look like he was doing anything. So finally he, after seeing him several times, approached him and said, I always see you here. What are you doing here all the time? And the guy responded, I'm enjoying God's presence and he is enjoying mine. That God is enjoying my presence. 
we learn to pray in as much as we learn to be looked at by God. It's not that we're praying to God, but God is also paying attention to us. Even if we don't use words, because he knows the longing in our heart. You can say a prayer from the depth of your heart, and God knows it. But direct your heart to him. This is true prayer. Sometimes people stand and repeat and recite things like a parrot, but they don't feel connected to God because their hearts aren't there. They don't realize that he's there. So you pray, know that God is paying great attention to you, and he loves you, and he knows your needs, and he knows what you want to say. Just direct your gaze towards him. So that's the theme of Matin's Gospel. And the Pauline, the message that I got from the Pauline, Ra'ad read it today, it was to be at peace, to have peace. And one verse in it says, concerning the coming of Christ, do not be sound shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter. A lot of times people, when they talk about the coming of Christ or the last days, they try to scare people. People are frightened by it. But we should be at peace. Nothing, nothing should take away the peace of Christ from our lives. The problem is we look at the, pr the challenge that we have and it becomes so big, out of proportion. But St. Mary, we just finished St. Mary's fast and feast recently. She said, my soul magnifies the Lord. Magnifies the Lord. She had God in front of her. So he was big. All the challenges were small. Put God between you and the challenge. God is big. Everything else is small. Even if something is difficult for us, it's very easy for him. So we offer him our challenges. Don't let anything take away your peace. So that's the message that I got and we can all get from Pauline. The Catholic epistle says, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So this teaches us to be ready, to be vigilant, not to put off what we need to do. I'm a student in Acts, and sometimes this past semester, we had class on Thursday. We had class on Thursdays. So the homework for the week, we needed to submit it by Wednesday, 11.59 p.m. I'm in Hawaii, so they gave me three extra hours because of the time difference. I shouldn't do this, and this is not a good example, so don't learn from this. But I would wait until Thursday, Wednesday, and I would just try to finish everything Wednesday. I always waited to the last minute. And one time I had trouble sending it. I had problems with the internet. And it didn't go through. And they closed it. So I had to call. I said, please, can you open it? Next day, Taban. I said, Abuna, you missed the deadline. I said, I'm so sorry. Don't do that. Don't do that. Why not 
do it on Thursday, the first day, and you don't have to worry about it. You can take care of other things. Be ready. Be ready. You know the, the parable of the five foolish virgins and the five wise. You know what happened with the five foolish virgins. They weren't ready. And so they were cast out. So we shouldn't be careless. But we have to be vigilant. Okay? Then in Acts, there's a beautiful verse. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, why don't we practice the Jesus prayer more? Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me. So we, we're ready through repentance. We say, have mercy upon me. But call upon the name of the Lord with faith. Say, my Lord Jesus, the saints, when they were persecuted, they said, my Lord Jesus. And so they were able to endure the martyrs. And the hermits and the monks, when they were sick, they didn't have medication like we do. The Lord was their medicine. They would say, my Lord Jesus, until their sickness was gone when they were hungry or thirsty, when they were hot or cold, the name of the Lord comforted them. Why don't we learn from these champions and practice the Lord Jesus prayer? Say the name of the Lord Jesus. The Psalms say, save me, O God, by your name. Save me, O God, by your name. So say his name with love. Finally, we read the gospel together. In the psalm, it came to my attention. And this is a beautiful thing. It says, they shall perish. Who shall perish? Everyone shall perish. And everything will perish. This earth will perish. The people in our lives will perish. But you remain. People come and go. Loved ones come and go. Even the saints. And I joined the monastery here in California because I wanted to live with Ambakaras. It's not his fault that he got sick and went to heaven. It was a little disappointing for me, being very young at the time. People come and go. But God is always with us. He's the one that's there with us at any time. At night when we don't have anybody else to talk to, or even if we do, maybe they're sleeping, maybe they're tired, Maybe they're busy. I, I have people who call me sometimes and say, Abuna, your phone, it goes directly to voice message. Am I not allowed to turn off my phone? Sometimes we look to take from people what only God can give. God is the one that's always with us. So his coming, it's something that's joyful for us. Some people talk about it as if it's something scary. For us, it's not. And I want to read to you a small passage from the last book 
of the Bible from the last chapter of Revelation. But before I go there, I just want to read one verse from the Gospel itself. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. This reminds me of an icon in the monastery. By the side altar, there's an icon of the second coming, where Christ is coming, and he's taking the church with him to heaven. Isn't this a beautiful sight and a beautiful thought? And with that, I'm going to read a passage from Revelation. And he, an angel, showed me, St. John, a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its street and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore 12 fruits. The tree of life. We have the tree of life right here. each tree yielding its fruit every month. This reminds me of Lahn al-Fadail. There's a, a hymn for the virtues. And all of us should look to acquire these virtues. Maybe the deacons can say it in, uh, during the distribution if they want. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. The leaves of the tree. Christ said, I am the vine, you are the branches. The leaves of the tree, which comes from the branches, are for the healing of the nations. That means that all of you have a mission to heal the people, to heal the nations to comfort these people. All of you in front of God, your mission is to let people know the love of God and to share with Him what you have, to share this with them. Why do we shy away from that? You don't know how people will react. People might be, at first, strong in their opinion. But when they hear the truth, they might love it. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads, there shall be no night there. And then I came in Laziz Gidbin. His name is Abun Abshay Kamil. Every time he sees us, even if it's at night time, he says, Sabah al Khair. He says, Good morning. And I said, Abun Amish, any good evening? He says, No, in heaven it's only light. In heaven, there's only light because God is there. There's no dark. There shall be no night there. They need no lamp nor light of the sun. For the Lord God gives them light. And they shall reign forever and ever. Then he said to me, These words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. Behold, I am coming quickly. We long for the coming of Christ. We're not afraid of the end of the world. We're not afraid. Yes, death is... People are frightened by it because it's a very 
important time of our life when we're going to be in front of him. But we're not afraid of it because we know that he loves us and we hold on to him. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of this prophecy of this book. Now I, John, saw and heard these things. When I heard and saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. Then he said to me, See that you do not do that, for I am your fellow servant and of your brethren, the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. Worship God. Don't put... I know that we respect our, our clergy, but again, they're human beings. They're limited. We have to look more to God, depend more on God. And he said to me, do not seal the words of this prophecy, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. God doesn't want us to be unjust and filthy. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? If, if we insist on living in sin, khalas. But God wants our salvation. Let him who is righteous be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I am coming quickly. My reward is with me. My reward is with me. God wants to reward us. And will give everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. But outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and Whoever loves and practices a lie, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David, the bright and morning star, and the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit, and the bride, the church, say, come. And we have to always say, Lord, come. Let him who hears say, come. Let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take of the water of life freely. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in the book. If anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. At the end of the year, we say, Lord, this, this year passed. Come. Make everything new for us. Don't let last year be like this year. Come. May God bless us and start this new year for us in peace and tranquility and joy. Glory be to him and his holy church. Amen.
We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things here and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess some baptism and remission of sins. Then goste vacha et henti anastasi centeni revmo hot em peon gente peon ethneio Oh God, the great, the eternal, who formed man in incorruption and death, which enter into the world through the enemy of the devil, you have destroyed. By the life-given manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, you have filled the earth with heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill to us, men. For perfect peace, of and a holy apostolic creating. Lord, have mercy. According to your good will, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of vice, bearing death, and make us all worthy our master to greet one another with the holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift, Chempe Christos, Jesus Choice. One another with a holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, yes, Lord. Who are Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Hear us and have mercy upon us. Offer an order, stand with trembling. Look towards the east, let us attend. <laughs> The Lord be with you all. 
to the Lord. It is me and right. Meet and right, meet and right, truly indeed it is meet and right to you, the being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the ice and looks upon the lowly, who have created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things, visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You are seated stand before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look toward the east. You are here around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings praising continuously without ceasing saying let us attend the cherubim worship you and the seraphim glorify you proclaiming and saying holy 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 lord ah, 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 formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment through the deceit of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days you manifested yourself to us, who are sitting in darkness and the shadow of, of death through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin the ways of salvation, he granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who are in the world and as a ransom on our behalf gave himself up unto death which reigned over us. 
whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins, he descended into Hades through the cross. He ascended into the heavens, he sits at your right hand, O Father. He has appointed a day for recompense, on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness, and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our So the cup after supper, he mixed it of wine and water, and when he had given thanks, he blessed it Amen. and sanctified it. Take drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant. It is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. 
do this in remembrance of, of me. This is also Spread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I, I come. Amen, amen, amen. Your death, O Lord, we proclaim. Holy Passion is resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything. Nemechen Hobni This bread he makes into his holy body. I believe and this cup also the precious blood of his. No Our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, given to us for salvation, remission of sins, eternal life to those who partake of it. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. All worthy our master to partake of your holy and to the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord, have mercy. This which have acquired yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. 
For most to remember, O Lord, our honor, Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Bob, our Tadros II, and his partner in the liturgy, our honor, Father, the Metropolitan Ambassador of Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox, Higgins, priest, and deacons. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us all. salvation of this your holy place in every place in every monastery of our orthodox fathers Lord, have mercy. and those who dwell therein in god's faith graciously accord the lord to bless the air of heaven the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its us be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage, O Lord, our life as deemed fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we, to having sufficiency in everything, always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those have brought to you these gifts, those in whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy precious gifts, our sacrifice and those who bring them. Lord, have mercy. As this, O Lord, that the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord the Lord to remember all the saints have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, and may you truly give birth to God the Logos. And Saint John the Forerunner, Baptist, and Modern, Saint Stephen, our Shikin, and Proto Martyr, the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, Saint Mark, the Holy Apostle, and Martyr, the Patriarch, Saint Severus, our Teacher, the Oscorus, and Athanasius, the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Holy Martyr, and a High Priest. Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory the Theologian, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, Saint Gregory the Armenian, 
The 318 and seven, they say the 150 corners to an up and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous father, the great of Anthony, the righteous of Paul, the three saints of Macari and all their children, the cross bearers. Our father of John the Hegumen, our righteous father of Pishoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints, through his prayers and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem, in the place. And we too who are sojourners in this place, keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. Souls and all things, your holy and glory and holy name may be glorified, blessed and exalted in everything, honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Let us give thanks to God the Father, for the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery.
precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ the Bantocrator the Lord the great, the eternal, who is wondrous in glory, who keeps his covenant and his mercy to those who love him with all their heart, who has given to us redemption of sins to his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, the life of everyone, the help of those who flee to him, the hope of those who cry out to him before whom stand thousands of thousands and myriads of myriads of holy angels and dark angels the cherubim and the seraphim and all the innumerable hosts of the heavenly powers O god you have sanctified these gifts which are set forth through the coming down upon them of your holy spirit you have purified them purify us also our master from our sins the hidden and the manifest, and every thought not pleasing to your goodness. O God, the lover of mankind, may it be far from us. Purify our souls, our bodies, our spirits, our hearts, our eyes, our understanding, our thoughts, and our consciences, so that with a pure heart, an enlightened soul, an unashamed countenance, a faith and fame, perfect love and firm hope. We may dare with boldness without fear to pray to you, O God, the Holy Father, who art in the heavens, and say, Jepin yo. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and power and the glory forever. Sagis Logitos, Kirios, Isos, Christos, Eos, Tesagasmus of Namagion, Amin. Eso Banagios, Batir, Eso Banagios, Eos, Ento Banagion, Ebnevoma. Ah, 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 ah,
to the last breath that this is the life-giving flesh which your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from Our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary, who made it one with His divinity, without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He confessed a good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of His own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor twinkling of an eye given to us for salvation, remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Uh, uh, uh. Amen. Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. I mean, pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them. Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the immaculate heavenly and holy mystery. Is Lord of mercy.
Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Is
of the sacrifice flying up to the highest with this hymn. Remember us before the Lord that he may forgive us our many sins. فَنُسَبِّحْ مَا الْمَلَائِكَ قَائِلِينَ Christos Benuti, O King of Peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace, forgive us our sins. Make us, O Lord, worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, thy kingdom come. Now may the love of God the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, the gift, communion, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Is that for the Lurti, for the newly baptized? Go in peace. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Uh, <clears throat> it's a great blessing for us today to have Otz Abuna Anastasi with us. It's a, it's a great, great blessing for him. I wish he would come more often uh, to visit us and bless us always. Thank you for coming and blessing us, Abuna. We're congrat we congratulate uh, Sherry and Tony today for the baptism of their son, Josiah, or Anthony. So as we always do uh, for the baptism, at the end we do a procession celebrating the newborn child and celebrating a new member in the church. And after the, the procession, Abuna will give them the commandments. Uh, God willing, also just before you leave, God willing, Saturday will be the Feast of Nairuz, we have Ashaya on Friday at 7 p.m. from 7 to 7.30 at the 4.30.